What's good, you guys? It's your girl Aaliyah here. So, I'm about to take a shower, and I decided that I'm going to wash my hair tonight. So, I wanted to do like a before and after type vibe just to show like how I look before I wash it and after. So, this is what we're looking like right now. Mainly, I wanted to just wash it because I don't honestly, I don't wash my hair that often. So, yeah, I don't wash it that often. So, I figured since I'm washing it now, let me go ahead and record it. So, I'm using a measure difference, measurable difference, um, coconut. And I got the conditioner and I got the shampoo. I'm not going to use the conditioner this time because I don't want build up. Yeah, so I don't want build up or whatever. If I do use a little bit, it'd probably be like literally in the middle of my hand. But I will be using the shampoo. So it looks like this. And, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now my hair is interlocked. So I have not washed my hair since I interlocked it. So yeah, it's definitely about that time. We not go tell nobody though. It's, that's between us. We we just can Yeah, so I'ma do a quick little 360 for y'all and then wash my hair. Um I am not going to record i feel like it's kind of weird to record while i'm in the shower so yeah but i'm gonna come back i'm gonna just come back when i'm finished so you can see the difference or whatever so quick little 360 mm -hmm. let me do it one more time because I got a bad habit of getting out of the frame. Okay. And if you hear it talking in the background, I'm watching um, Natural Nirvana. I love her videos. She, um, she doesn't interlock though, but she inspired me because I. I be wanting to comb my hair out and seeing her, how her hair look now, I be like, yeah, that's, that's bomb. Bomb, okay. But yeah, so I'm about to hop in the shower, wash my hair, and I'll be right back. Alright, y'all, so this is the finished product. Well, this is my finished product. This is after I just washed it. So I'm finna to blow dry my hair get dressed and come back i just wanted to show my hair as of right now hopefully you can see that but yeah so i'm coming right back all right so this is what the bright the drying process right now is looking like I'm trying to get it straight So again, it's not completely dry, but um, like it's damp now. So, so we're looking like right now. Other side. Okay. And then I stood the back. <sighs> Sorry, the video cut off. But um, let's go back to the back. And hopefully, you can see. Like I said, it's still damp. But it feels very, very soft. So, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna finish drying my hair. Actually, I might let it air dry. I haven't decided yet. But, um, yeah, so this is how it's looking after a wash. Um, I'm probably gonna change the shirt. Well, this is a dress, but yeah. okay, so I'll probably change my shirt. Um, being that my hair is that right now, okay, being that my hair is damp right now, um. Like I said, I was thinking about letting it air dry. So it's damp to the point where I'm kind of used to it being like, you know, wet. So what I'm going to do is I have an oil blend and I got to restock my oil blend. And I think I'm going to make that a vlog probably when I go shopping for my oils to refill this once this is empty. Um, This bottle I got from Sally's. Yeah, I got this from Sally's. Um, some of the oils I got from there, some I got from Walmart, so, yeah, but I'ma get, I'ma do a, vo a vlog where I make my oil blends, where I get it from, all the other stuff, the price. So, yeah, I'ma show the prices, uh, show much, how much I pay, show how I put everything together, how I stretch it out, all that. So when my hair is damp like this, like I say, I do put oil in my hair because the oil blend is really all I have left, which is another re another reason why I have to um, get my oils because I don't really I don't really um, put this in that often. I really put like the single oils in um, more often than the oil blend. But yeah, sorry I'm sweating. Okay, so what I do is I just swirl around. Like so, make sure everything, nothing is sitting too much or whatever. So because your hair is wet, the oil, the water is going to steal the oil in. So what I do is, and I think I'm going to restart. So give me a second. So yeah, because I, um, I'm using the oil blend, all I do is just go in my hair, no particular way. I kind of do like a downward motion only because... I want it to fall in my hair so I'm like kind of pushing it throughout my hair and sometimes I just let it fall and then sometimes I just squeeze it a little bit so it can like you know go in my hair completely And then I go along my hairline, and that's the last spot. And then I just go in my hair and take my fingers, rub through. And sorry about the noise. Um, I have a YouTube video going, so it might look like it's a lot on camera, but it's really not. I think it's because my hair. It's like a damp, like I said, it's like a damp that I'm used to, but it's a little bit more than that. So, yeah. And we're just going to flip it. <laughs> like so. So yeah, and that's it as far as that. Um, I mainly wear my hair down all the time, but when I like have my hair wet, like let's say I'm oiling my hair or or how I wash my hair tonight, um, I won't wear my hair down. Usually, I wear my hair down. I don't put styles in my hair or anything. I might try a style, but it won't stay in my hair that long. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is I got a hair tie. And you see how small this is? You want to stretch it out a little bit. If you can, if it'll stretch out with you. These are pretty flexible. So it's like when you snap it back together, it might look like I didn't do anything. But when I put my hair in this, it won't be as tight, you know? And this is the bonnet I use. You can get this from Walmart. 
um it's like it's pretty thick in my opinion my hair is cool with it and the water doesn't really seep through um the outside of my bonnet so that's another reason why i wear this when my hair is wet so i know my edges are sparse but i'm in the process of growing it back and i can do a video on how my edges got sparse but i don't think i have to i don't think it's that big of a deal um mainly because i used to get my hair done um like in weaves or whatever all the time and whatnot so they would do my hair along the edges for neatness and all this other stuff for neatness and all this other stuff so they would like you know do like along my edges or whatever and yeah so also I used to get perms all the time so that's another reason why my hair is I mean my edges are a little sparse but um like I said, I could do a video on what not to do. I feel like it's common sense, though. But at the time, not really knowing what I was doing and knowing what others were doing, you know. But honestly, like, they're coming back pretty good because I used to be worse than this. But, yeah, so. And what I do is I just go in my ponytail and I just pull it on through. Make sure I'm not doing too much. I like to push my ponytail forward. I feel like it makes a cute bang, but because I'm gonna be going to bed, I'm gonna push it back like this and put my bonnet on, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm see you in the next one. Bye.